Hi everyone, Miss Kirk Smith here. Now as you can see on my table I've got a picture of our world map. Now can you remember from last term what planet is this? What planet is our map of? That's right, it's planet Earth and on planet Earth there are lots and lots of different places where people live. We know that the blue part is the sea and all of these parts here are the land where people live. Now let's have a look at one of the, at, uh, the place where we live. We live over here in a place called the United Kingdom. That's right. Can you remember how many countries there are in the United Kingdom? We talked about this a little bit last term. Can you remember how many countries there are in the United Kingdom? That's right, there's four countries in the United Kingdom. There's England, and that's where we live. There's Wales. At the top, we've got Scotland. And then over to the side, we've got Northern Ireland. So there's four countries in the United Kingdom. And we learned a lot about the United Kingdom last term when we talked about London. Now, this term, lots of you will know, our new topic is Spain. Now, Spain is another country on planet Earth. So England is the country we live in, and we're learning about a new country called Spain. Let's have a look. Can we find Spain on the map? So I know that this is the United Kingdom here, and then I've got France, I've got Italy, Spain. There's Spain. This brown part here is Spain. So we know where it is, and I'm going to come back to that a little bit later and talk about um, the sheet that you've got from your home learning pack. But before we do that, I just want to talk about this line going across here. And I'm hoping on the camera you can see this clearly. I've got a nice green line going across here. Now, this line in real life is actually an invisible line. I've just put a string on here today just to make it nice and clear to us. In real life, this line is actually invisible and it's called the equator. Can you say equator? Okay, the equator is a line that goes around the earth and it shows us where the hottest countries are. Now these countries are really hot because along the equator is where the sun shines the most. Okay, it's the, it's the countries that get the most sunlight and therefore are the hottest. So let's have a look at a country going along the equator. Oh, there's one, Kenya. So if you live in Kenya, it would be very, very hot because you live right on the equator. You live in a place where the sun shines the, the, the most, where it's um, the, the sun is closest to and therefore is the hottest. If you lived in Congo, that would be another very hot place because your country is very close to the sun. We know it's close to the sun because it runs along the equator. So let's have a look. If I look at a different place, if I look at Antarctica, Antarctica, we know, would be a cold place to live in on planet Earth because it is not very close to the equator. So let's have a think then. If we know that countries that are near the equator are hotter, let's go back to look at the United Kingdom and Spain. Which country do you think would be the hottest? Would it be England? Or would it be Spain? Now, before you answer it, have a think. Remember, the countries that are closer to the equator are closer to the sun and they are therefore hotter. So which country would be hotter, England or Spain, and why? That's right. Spain would be hotter than England because Spain is closer to the equator. Now... I know that you've got a sheet in your home learning pack that looks a little bit, just make sure this is on camera, looks a little bit like this one. Now your job is to colour in the United Kingdom in blue and to colour in Spain in red. So let's have a look. Here's the United Kingdom and then we've got France, we've got Italy. Over here is Spain. You're going to colour Spain in red. Now, when you colour Spain in, you just need to be careful that you don't colour in this part here. Because over here, that is Portugal. That is a different country to Spain, okay? So, 
I've got my blue pencil and I'm going to colour in the United Kingdom in blue. Now, I'm just doing this quickly just to show you, but I'm sure that your one, when you colour in, will be very neat. And I'm not forgetting about Northern Ireland over here because that is part of the United Kingdom. And then I'm going to colour Spain in red. Now I'm colouring it in. Now again, I'm just doing this very quickly just to show you, but when you do it, you can make sure you do it nice and neatly. All it, and I'm just being careful that I don't colour Portugal in because I, I know that Portugal is a separate country. It's a different country to Spain. Okay? Excellent. And once you've done that, have a go at answering some of the questions on your sheet as well. Okay? Keep working hard and hopefully we'll see you soon. See you later.